Beaming, live on Instagram, listening consultancy, and live on the Dorking Entity Facebook page for Feature Friday, which today is the Ergo Omni. So last week we did the Ergo Adapt, uh, which is a carrier that is suitable for newborn that uh, adjusts and has the three main positions on that one. Uh, doesn't do the forward facing. However, the Omni has that option. So the Omni is um, quite a popular choice. Um, it's one of the more expensive carriers on the market. Um, we have five ergos in the Sling Library, so um, we do have a, a range of those to try, including the 360, uh, the Adapt, and the 360 M Mesh, which just has a slightly different configuration. So I'm going to show you the Ergo Omni. So this one, it does have the panel for the back as well and this is how it adjusts so you can see here we've got our velcro so for a new baby we're going to pop it onto the red for a newborn so you can see what that does is it really narrows the width of the waistband and it creates that deep seat so that then goes round on our body you're going to clip that in and then you're going to tighten and tighten Okay. and again it's about finding that sweet spot where that works for you ideally we're looking for this waistband to be straight okay with the Omni um, you can do a cross strap version as well so what you uh, do if you're doing a cross strap hi there <laughs> um, hi Laura what we're gonna do at the moment this is set up for a ruck strap so ruck strap literally means it goes around and clips in but you have a buckle here which you simply pull on that and then unclip and you can do a cross strap which literally would mean that that would come use the length of the strap that would come down and round and clip into there now obviously with this the strap is quite a heavily padded strap so some people find that um, it's not the most comfortable in terms of a cross strap carrier um, but it absolutely is something that you can do um, with the ergo you do only have the option to do one direction on your buckles so some of the other carriers it's a back pull forward some have dual buckles so you can pull forwards or backwards and this one you can only go one way so when you're doing a front carry it will be backwards and just to clarify it should go through there which I will do now for you for a safety point of view just it's an extra feature but it is a little bit fiddly there we go just clicks in place so then you've got this really flared sort of firm, quite firm seat there. You've got the support head there, support for the head, and um, and the same on the side. So yeah, you just pull back. It's a slightly different buckle. Normally you just do this on the buckles, but this one you have to lift up and do uh, like that. And again, I'm going to clip it through there, and then clip it back on. So with this one, I would suggest if you're having it in a H strap formation or what we call ruck strap straps that you clip your chest strap up first then grab your passenger today get them settled on your body so that they're sitting onto that seat tuck their pelvis under towards you hands up go underneath the carrier and bring that to their bottom and bring that up and then grab that and over your head okay and over and over there we go and then simply tighten your straps. So with this there's not a huge amount of adjustment I can make on the strap so for me I would want to have this a little bit tighter um, just because uh, it's quite narrow on the shoulders so I would use this in a cross strap formation just for me because it's going to fit my body a little bit better and it brings this strap a lot, lot lower um, away from under the arm. With a really young baby if we're finding that they're quite tilted and they're a bit low in the carrier just lift the bottom up and bring more carrier and bring that carrier up higher on your body there we go so you can see that that baby's now a lot lot higher i bring my waistband higher and then I would tighten my waistband so that's sitting a lot 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 higher there's more tucked under baby there so that's a really good way to get a better position on your baby for a very young baby this headrest comes in and supports on there it comes undone like this and goes in here and then you clip it round on the outside okay or for when you want it as they're older you can clip it up here um, the fabric choices they come in quite a few ranges of colors i would say that the ergos um 
the darker colours are more prone to sort of fading a little bit. It looks worse in this light, but it, um, yeah, the darker colours are a little bit more prone to looking faded quite quickly. Uh, something like the Air Mesh versions are quite good. They um, are a different fabric mix, so they're not a, a, a cotton. They tend to um, not fade in that way. So this is the Ergo Omni, as I say, you can do this in your front facing, you can do facing away from you, you can do a hip carry because it's got the buckle here, and a back carry. So this one is why it's called the Omni, um, it's four positions, so it does have that extra option um, if you were to face your baby away from you. Um, doing it mindfully, ensuring that they reach the minimum sort of either developmental stage or weight because different carriers will have different... Uh, considerations but essentially as long as you're doing it mindfully and you're keeping uh, an eye on your baby and there's cues as to whether they want turning around or not um, again try other options like your hip carry or try potentially a back carry um, for your baby again with the back carry it's just about loosening these straps a little bit and then you can just go round and take your elbow down take your elbow up and out support baby breathe in and twist your waist bound Baby can go no more, over swimming arm, round, and grabbing your shoulder strap and putting your arm back in, and grabbing the shoulder strap and your arm back in, and then tightening up again so that one will come forward for that position, and then you would just tighten your trust strap. Obviously what that does mean is that you've got the lumbar support that goes on your back when you front carry across your front, um, and then to take down, you can do the reverse, or you can just take your carrier down, bring your hands into the baby, and bring baby round and down, like that. So each carrier, um, there's no real defining point where you say, right, baby's ready for a hip carry or a back carry. Um, it's much more um, subtle than that. It's not quite so, so sort of black and white around that. Some carrying manufacturers will have very particular stipulations on the weight limit, or whether it's a, an age limit. Um, and it's a combination of all those things. So the Ergo uh, Omni is available from the Sling Library. That comes under the standard hire rate, which is £8 for two weeks or £15 for four weeks. Our next Sling Library session is actually at the end of April. It's the 23rd of April. Um, it's the day after the bank holiday. Um, it is an inset day, but um, we will be absolutely be there. Otherwise, we wouldn't be there for the whole of, uh, of April. And we also have um, a limited options in May because of the May end of half term at May. Um, my kids are not coming up for bath time, I can now hear Woody. Um, so I hope you found that useful. Any questions, just pop them down and I will come back and help you with that. If you do need any discount codes, obviously let us know because we do have discount codes for um, many retailers that do stock um, the Ergos because they are quite an expensive brand. Have a great weekend.